Let's have a quick conversation about the best user behavior analytics tools, okay? We want to compare and contrast four players in today's conversation. So we have Mixed Panel, Amplitude, Heap, and Kiss Metrics. Don't you go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation, I guarantee you. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you were to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka, and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to do a comparative analysis of four players when it comes to user behavior analytics tools. So we are going to compare and contrast Mixed Panel, Amplitude, Heap, and Kiss Metrics. I want to start with HIP. So when you think about HIP, I want you to think about a digital insights platform that helps digital experience owners quickly surface blind spots where users struggle or drop off in a multi-step digital journey. This is kind of convoluted, but it just means that you're trying to find out more about your customer journey. Okay, it's very important. So HIP is very easy to use. It's okay, it's a, it's a platform that works best when it comes to user analytics. Okay, it captures the interactions between users and analyze them with, without developers having to wait for data. Okay, this is kind of cool, and you don't need to ship code either. Okay, this is really good. So, here are the heap features that you will love that we have loved you have event, event visualizer, funnels, graphs, SQL data capture and users there are a lot more but those are the most significant based on our analysis okay and here are the main ben the main benefits of heap well you have a uh, heap ha heap is very uh, very able to capture all user interactions customization and real-time insights okay so any form of submission page view gesture tap or, or click done by a user is captured by heap okay so if you think about it this is a uh, a treasure trove of data that you have to that they can help you do a lot of things in terms of analysis okay and this is really cool and one thing I also want to say here is that users can also modify heap and come up with custom events should there be instances where heap does not automatically capture an event so a specific number of properties can come with a custom event generated by the user and uh, so you can actually dig deeper on this events so that you can amass the needed information so long story short, HIP does give you the treasure trove, as I said earlier, of information to actually uh, inform your decision making. So in terms of uh, the technical specifications, the device supported, you have web-based and iOS, customer types, small businesses, medium-sized businesses, support types, phone and online, okay? In terms of HIP integrations, you have a constellation of players, you have Optimizely, Chardio, Segment, Clear, uh, clear Login, GitHub, and so on and so forth. Okay, customer support is available online and over the phone. And in terms of pricing, as you can see on the screen here, here, here is the pricing. So you have free, growth, pro, and premier plan. Okay, and you also have a free trial, so no credit card is required. Fantastic. I want to talk to you now about Mixed Panel. Okay, so when you think about Mixed Panel, I want you to think about an analytics platform that you can deploy for both mobile devices and the web. Okay, so Mixed Panel takes an unconventional analytics analytics approach by reviewing and measuring actions taken by individuals who have entered a user's app or system. So Mixed Panel is more, I would say, is broader than uh, the heap. Okay, so Mixed Panel was specifically made to fully enable organization. No, uh, to fully enable rather organization no matter how big or small to effectively monitor and analyze customer behavior okay so this is what it is customer behavior this is what it is so here are the main features of mix panel so you have a b testing retention features versatile uh, data visualization ios and android compatibility point and click analytics visual coding customer engagement annotations mobile surveys okay auto track bookmarks and notifications and bookmarks are very important in terms of uh, informing the long-term decision making in terms of uh, knowing user analytics in a more granular in a more granular way okay so here are mixed panel benefits based on our research we have easy to digest analytics okay 
They have a simple interface that's very user friendly, event tracking, and targeted data co uh, collection. This is important, okay? So when we talk about easy to digest analytics, Mixpanel actually provides reliable data analytics and present them in a comprehensive yet easy to understand manner for common users, okay? So this is kind of cool. Here are the technical specifications. For the devices, you have web-based, iOS, Android, and desktop. For the customer tabs, they cover the whole nine yards. They do small business, medium-sized businesses, and enterprise. And in terms of support types, they do a phone support and online support, okay? Now, here are the mixed panel integrations you need to know about. So, mixed panel inter integration actually include JavaScript integration, Ionic, Telium, Live Chat, Segment IO, Adjust, Optimizely, Gains, Gains Sites, okay? You have GitHub, Zapier, Visual Website Optimizer, and so on and so forth. And the one thing I want to say here is that uh, customer support is available online or over the phone. And in terms of pricing plan, you can see on the screen here, here is the pricing plan you need to think about. And so uh, they are available. So you have free trial, no credit card. You have uh, the free, the basic, and the enterprise. One thing I want to say real quick also is that when we talk about event tracking through Mixpanel, you have to understand that uh, Mixpanel is definitely one of the latest software tools that have redefined what tracking is about. So instead of making an assessment or, or recording clicks at page views, Mixpanel gauges the app of the user according to events. So Mixpanel has been widely used by uh, businesses to keep track of events, discover new trends, and generate sales funnels. Very important. Let's talk about Amplitude. Amplitude, that's the third player into this conversation. And uh, when you think about Amplitude, like the the slogan I want you to keep in mind is, it is an analytics tool, an analytics tool that helps understand user behavior, okay? It, it is a web and mobile analytics solutions that enables marketers to get data for, for their analysis from the behavioral layer. What it means that Amplitude provides individual data points to get all relevant information about users' activity on the web, okay? One thing we love about Amplitude is that with uh, if you have the right settings, you can better understand how users are navigating their application in order to answer questions about future development strategy, okay? And Amplitude also has uh, real-time analytics, cross-platform tracking, high-level security, and customer support. So this kind of software actually helps organizations target potential clients and examine funnels, get better retention and increase revenue. OK, so this is kind of cool. And uh, so one thing I want to say is that Amplitude actually provides they actually track behavioral reports to better understand user interactions with products and provides insights to accelerate work on a real time basis. OK, so this is kind of cool. And one thing I also want you to remember here in terms of uh, Amplitude is that they have a lot of features. You have insights into customer experience, growth uh, engine for product iteration. You have creating product portfolio and you have SQL access for custom for custom curious. OK, and the behavioral platform helps in creating a 360 degree view across the customer journey. And uh, they have a growth engine that generates hypothetical data by observing customer behavior while also amplifying winning features and campaign ideas. So what the picture I'm trying to paint here is that Amplitude is an all-in-one all in tool that can really help you a lot in terms of uh, your uh, analysis into user behavior, okay? So let's dig a little deeper here. Amplitude integrates with third-party software and platforms such as Adjust, Amazon, Apps Flyer, Optimize, Branch, Google Play, iTurable, iTunes, and so on and so forth. Here are the pros and cons. The pros. With Amplitude, you can really dig every you can really dig very deep into the data you need. Okay, we love the customization here. Very important, very intuitive also. And you're able to create charts and dashboards that that, that give you uh, insight into the apps you, you, you build. And it's very easy to implement. And uh, even if you are no technical person, it's also very easy. Here are the cons. Now, setting up events can be a little tough, okay? And uh, so the thing here is that the learning curve can be a little uh, steep, okay? And setting up events can, uh, depending on the industry you're in, you have to actually uh, think a little deeper here. The pricing is not transparent at all. They have a problem with it, with their pricing, so that's what it is. In terms of pricing, as you can see on the screen, 
you have to contact sales. You have to contact sales to get more information about it. Let me talk to you now about Kiss Metrics. That's the fourth player into this conversation. So when you think about Kiss Metrics, I want you to think about a cloud-based customer engagement and email campaign automation solution. Okay, so they actually um, help a lot of businesses understand website visitors through behavior-based analy uh, an analytics. So Kiss Metrics is usually it uh, better for small firms. Okay. It has a, a centralized platform to analyze, engage, and categorize audiences. So here are some features we love about Kissmetrics. You have management of data, events, reporting, campaigns, customer profiles, accounts, and billing. Okay, and uh, the uses uh, Kissmetrics actually uh, help users increase conversion rates by providing metrics on product sales and allows them to understand what is working and what is not. Okay. So additionally, it provides insight into customer behavior, which lets, if you really think about it, organizations gain real-time insights into industry trends. Okay. In terms of integration, Kissmetrics really integrates really well with third-party software, such as Facebook, Slack, Instagram, Shopify, and WooCommerce. Okay. This is really good. And let's just dig a little deeper. Let's dig a little deeper in terms of uh, pros and cons. Okay. So here are the pros. So you can quickly access the reports. This is a great tool for collecting the user interaction data. You can easily track what the features are, what kind of features the user like. Okay, it's kind of cool also to understand uh, the uh, the A/B test over uh, in Kiss Metrics. Okay, you can easily access the analytics data from anywhere by just looking into your site and defining your user funnel. Okay, and it's also easy to implement over source code. And the UX, in our view, is uh, really great. Here are the cons. The dashboard options are kind of limited, but uh, we have heard that actually Kissmetrics is working on it. The, des the interface design of the admin tool is not really good. It could be improved. Okay. Now, the, the tool is not for small size businesses because you cannot get too much out of it when using the products. Now, you have to pay more. It depends on though. It depends on what you want for it. Yeah. There is also a learning curve that you have to be aware of. I said that earlier, okay? That, that learning curve is very is very steep, okay? And uh, they do require a lot of training to use the platform. So the data visualization also does have limitations. In terms of pricing, as you can see on the screen here, you need to con you need to contact sales, okay? You first need to re to request a demo, and you need to work on the demo before actually doing the the real software. So. I'll be right back, right after this, don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another uh, Edition of the awesome sweetie kiwi show we also having a conversation today about uh, four players when it comes to when it comes to user behavior analytics so we have uh, kiss metrics heap mix panel and amplitude one thing i want to say here is that when you are looking for the best behavior analytics platforms you need to think about a few criteria they are quintessential okay do not do not compromise on those uh, criteria otherwise you will end up with a very crappy software tool okay so think about the user interface you want to look for well-designed tools that make it easy for you as a user to find the data you need this is important do not compromise on that you want to think about usability okay so you want to offer you want to have a, a platform that offers intuitive navigations okay navigation tools and features what about integrate integration you want to make sure the software integrates very well and very natively with everyday business tools, okay? And you wanna look for value for dollar. In other words, is it affordable, okay? What is the value here? Because you don't wanna spend thousands of dollars on a tool too, okay? And when we talk about the key features that you wanna pay attention to, you wanna pay attention to the session recordings, okay? So admins should be able to record and replay individual user sessions. You wanna think about real-time views, okay? So the ability to watch visitors as they interact with the website app and identify problem areas. You wanna think about page benchmarking, so the option to compare the performance of two pages to see which is getting the better results. 
You need to think about advanced reporting, so detailed insight into the behavior of users, either individually or in aggregate. Okay, you want to think about mobile apps, so an option to use an Apple or Android app to analyze user data. You need to think about collaboration tools, okay? So these are easy ways to share information and comments with other team members. This is kind of important when we talk about the collaborative uh, environment you need to have anyway to analyze user behavior. This is kind of important, right? This is kind of important. And uh, you also need to think about user surveys, okay? So the option to offer pop-up service to visitors to gather direct feedback, okay? And the last thing that, the last feature you should seek in a user behavior analytics app is security. So you want to have solid safeguards to protect the visitors and ensure data integrity. This is really important, okay? So before we actually choose the best products for you, the best platform for you, let's look at the alternatives because there are a lot of alternatives that you need to be aware of so that, you know, if you don't like heap, mix panel, amplitude, or case metrics, you can go for others, okay? So we have Hotjar. So Hotjar is great for all-in-one user behavior analytics, okay? You, Hotjar shows you where users are dropping out, dropping out of your funnel. This is really important. So you're able to spot all the, the weakness in your, in your product and actually remedy it quickly, okay? And one thing I want to see here is that with Hotjar, admins can replay sessions, add tags to recordings, create notes, and collaborate with other team members. They can also create surveys, send invitation links to customers, or launch surveys directly on the site. We also have full story. Okay, so full story combines quantitative and qualitative data in real time. Okay, so full story actually gives you a complete picture of user behavior. Okay, this is kind of important, and we love the fact that uh, you can have session playbacks. Okay, they provide a complete view of the customer journey. Okay, admins can inspect customer activity, identify rich clicks, and create funnels. Okay, so other features include click maps giving detailed page insights, plus the ability to pinpoint dead clicks. You also have Crazy Egg. So Crazy Egg is great for detailed heat maps of user interactions, okay? We love the fact that Crazy Eggs helps organizations of all sizes, small businesses, mid-size or large, conduct A-B tests, understand user behavior, and optimize content, okay? So admins can, admins can analyze heat maps, scroll maps, and visual reports to see how people interact with their website, okay? And uh, you also have a data doc. So data doc provides a... Uh, end-to-end -end visibility into user journey, okay? This is kind of important because it also helps inform the decision-making process. So when you think about Datadog, I want you to think about an analytics, monitoring, and network security platform for cloud-based cloud enterprises. It is actually a SaaS platform that integrates and automates application performance management, infrastructure management, and log management. Okay, this is really important to know. And the software provides insight into front-end application performance from the perspective of real users, okay? So user journeys are correlated with synthetic tests, backend metrics, traces, and network performance data. So this is really good. And uh, usage across mobile and web apps can be analyzed by browser. We love that. Country and any custom dimension. It really depends on you, okay? I want to talk to you about another uh, another software that's the Clever Tab. So this is great for mobile first products. If you have a mobile first product, this is really good. So Clever Tab helps marketers create differentiated customer engagement strategies at scale. Okay, so we're talking about a, a software tool that is focused on increasing customer lifetime value. Okay, having features such as flows, A/B testing, pivots user segmentation and funnels okay marketers can create customized campaigns that include triggered messages push notifications and scheduled offers another player i want to share with you log rockets this is great for front-end monitoring and product analysis okay and this is kind of good it is actually a complete product analytics and front-end monitoring solution so it uses session replay performance monitoring threat detection and powerful analytics to highlight and fix ux and technical problems okay so as a result businesses can improve conversions engagement and retention we also have a pendo 
So with Pendo, you can deploy customer onboarding and retention uh, quickly, okay? Pendo shows you how popular a specific app is, okay? Or, spe or specific app features are. We also have, uh, so what we love about Pendo is that you, you are basically uh, looking at the whole customer journey from a different point of view, okay? And uh, we also have user analytics. So this is great for easy user experience testing, okay? So user analytics gives deep insight into customer interactions with the website, okay? It is actually a cloud-based platform that is designed for remote user testing and research, okay? And it helps businesses understand the user's journey by recording test participants interacting with the website or mobile app. And what we love about this user analytics is that they have great features such as uh, hyperlink annotations, picture and picture recording, card sorting, device targeting, and tree testing. Okay. You also have mouse flow. With mouse flow, you have detailed data for every touch point of the user's journey. Okay. So mouse flow actually highlights areas that demand urgent attention. Okay. So when you think about mouse flow, you can build six types of heat maps for all pages automatically and set up funnels to find out where users drop off. In the same platform, you can also use form analytics to improve lead generation and launch feedback campaign campaigns to lead more from to learn actually learn more from visitors okay so overall so those are some uh, tools that i want you to think about so the decision so kiss metrics heap mix panel and amplitude which one are you going to choose before you make a decision i want you to really think about it really depends on what you're looking for the decision you are making depends on your needs, depends on the, the vertical or horizontal, horizontal niche you're in, depends on the target audience, depends on your needs in terms of analytics, okay? So one thing we want to say clearly is that make sure, no matter which one you choose, that you pay attention to this six elements. Number one, user interface. Very important. You want to pick something that is very user-friendly. Don't try to pick something complicated that gives you a, a hard time, you know, a pain just to, just to learn the, 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 the tool. You don't want that. You have no time for it, okay? Think about usability. So you want to have intuitive navigation and features. Again, going back to what I said earlier about UX, you want to have I mean, UI, user interface. You have to think about the experience, okay? Is it user-friendly? Can you start using it right away or do you have to take like two hours of session learning session to just understand the tool think about integrations because you don't want to have a, a tool that does not have a lot of integrations you want integrations to happen natively with everyday business tools okay you want to look for the your budget and you want to look for affordability what we call the value added okay the value for dollar okay so you want to look for that you want to think about your own operational needs this is important. This is what I was just talking about earlier in terms of uh, if you want to learn more about where users are dropping off, where users are staying longer. You want It really depends on the product. It depends on if, for instance, if you have a, a mobile-only product, you have a digital-only product, or you have a real-life product. It really depends on what kind of products you have. And there are other, other criteria also that will be too long for me to explain here. But if you're interested, please drop us a comment drop us a question and we'll be able to answer you you also need to think about the type of customer or customer journeys you want to track okay this is important because the journey you want to track will actually require a different type of uh, tool because honestly there are not a i mean th there are some tools that actually cover it all but if you if i were to tell you one tool will cover everything 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 i would say it uh, it's kind of rare Okay, they're out there though, but it's kind of rare. So, long story short, pay attention to the kind of the kind of uh, customer journey you want to track. So, after analyzing case metrics, heap, mix panel, and amplitude, our pick, our choice, our winner is mix panel. Okay, we believe mix panel is the number one. They are more complete. They are more thorough okay they are more granular okay they're more diverse in the kind of analytics tools that they provide so mix panel 9.8 over 10 heap 9.6 over 10 amplitude 9 over 10 and kiss metrics 
8.7 over 10. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous.